All right, we're live. Welcome back, guys, for part two of our series with Marissa. So we have um, Marissa here who has had twins and then she had a single birth. And I just wanted to like come out and say that we had a viewer question. Um, one of my dear friends, she had a baby about a year and a half ago. And she said, man, I'm doing these workouts. I'm doing these exercises. And is there anything I should be doing specifically? Because I unfortunately still feel like I look pregnant, but I'm not pregnant anymore. And my daughter's like a year, a year and a half uh, old. So it shouldn't be like this. And so I, I knew she was struggling with diastasis or coning and then the aftermath of that during the recovery. But I didn't really know exactly what to what to tell her. So did you like have that experience? Did you feel educated going into it? Like, <laughs> So the only reason I even stumbled upon what in the world diastasis recti is, is because I had a twin pregnancy. If you follow anybody on Instagram, any mom blogs, anybody with a twin pregnancy whatsoever, you will stumble upon diastasis recti. And notice I'm saying it those two ways because I don't know how to. <laughs> Say it. It's like a it's like a blanket. It's like diastasis. <laughs> DR. We can call it DR. So you will stumble upon it and then you will be aware. You'll know what it is. You'll know how to detect it. Um, unfortunately, a lot of a lot of doctors don't talk about it at postpartum. Even though it probably should be one of the key uh, issues being addressed from doctors because it helps with so many other things once you figure out how to um, address the issue. So I would say for your friend, ask your OBGYN to give you a referral for a physical therapist. And if they have one, a pelvic floor physical therapist because wow. that person is someone who can help you immensely. Okay, cool. No, I really like that. So a pelvic floor, um, you know, professional or like a lactate professional, like those kind of people, they work with like breastfeeding and then they work with like, you know, how this is all healing during the recovery process, right? right. Do you know like how it's called like the fourth trimester or the fourth trimester? Totally. So why is it called that? Like, is it, why is it like kind of like part of the pregnancy? Yeah. That part of the pregnancy is meant for rest. That part of the pregnancy, we'll put it in quotes, um, because your baby is on the outside, but the baby has no control yet and you have no awareness of what your body is about to go through. So you're learning about your body, you're seeing so much change in your body um, as you start to breastfeed and figure out all of those challenges and blessings and um, what, your, what your body will start to look like postpartum is that fourth trimester. So keeping the baby close and snuggly, um, if you can breastfeed, it actually helps shrink your uterus, which is a very cool thing. Wow. I know. I'm excited for that. It's I'm really neat. I'm excited for like, everyone's like, skin to skin, and yeah. like, you need a good robe. I'm like, you need a robe. You need a you robe. Need give me something back. You need a <laughs> robe. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I like four robes. We <laughs> borrow one. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so it it's a really sweet time, but it's also a time that you should be resting your body because you're not ready for physical activity. Just like at the very end of your pregnancy, you are you know, doing as many squats as you can and getting ready, gearing up for this baby's arrival, your body is then going to go through a very intense process of labor and delivery. And after that, you need wow. an intense time of rest. Yeah, people talk about it like it's like an Olympic, uh, Olympic event. It's like, this is the climax of your athleticism in your life is like giving birth. I'm like, wow, Definitely. okay, all right. I think I'd prepare myself for it. Maybe not, I'll find out. Definitely. <laughs> Seems important. What about nutrition? Like how did you change up your food and what you ate like between both pregnancies? Yeah, with my twin pregnancy, I ate whatever I wanted. I kept things limited to a degree, just less sugar. And um, I didn't have any actual complications except that it was a twin pregnancy. So I was really blessed by that. Um, so it was all in all a really easy go as far as twin pregnancies are concerned. Two healthy boys. That's right. Praise God. That's right. <laughs> and with my second pregnancy, with the, a singleton pregnancy, um, it was different. I had hormone changes and as you always do, but these caused extreme eczema. And so I had to change my diet. I had to change my nutrition. I had a midwife that was um, a pivotal uh, woman in my life that helped me, helped guide me through uh, dietary changes that helped with the eczema. But uh, because of that, I gained a lot less weight and um, had 
an easier labor and delivery uh, with the exercises that I was doing and the way I was eating. So yeah, I changed my diet a lot with my second pregnancy. Wow, that's awesome. You said you gained 15 pounds, right? Yeah, 15 pounds in the whole pregnancy. <laughs> Which is crazy. I think um, I gained 60 with the twins. Oh my gosh, yeah. that puts <laughs> things in perspective. <laughs> I, I'm at like 20 to 25. All I know is that I am very much nearing my husband's weight. I'm like within 20 pounds of what Pete weighs. And I'm like, uh, could you like eat a carb? My mom loved that. My mom was like, I'm gonna send you guys like all this like these baked goods. And she was like, and tell him I'll be there when the baby gets there and I'll make him more. I'm like, okay, yeah, I hope that works. All right. That's right. Well, then I don't just eat them all. Yeah. But um, okay, cool. Well, let's uh. Let's see, let's see, is there anything you want to share with us or anything I didn't ask that you want to like provide an answer for? Yeah, something I really um, did with both pregnancies is pray more. I prayed oh, a lot yes. for my babies. I prayed a lot for the delivery and the labor, but then also that um, God would use me to bring my children up in the way of the Lord. I focused on Him and um, God got me through the hardest times of labor, the, the most extreme wow. contractions. I was closing my eyes and focused on God, and I would say that was the absolute most important thing I could possibly do, was focus on the Lord and know that He has a plan for me and He has a plan for my children, and that is very true for you as well. Cool. All right, well, thank you so much.